All right, uh, grab a cup of coffee. Today we're going to talk about forms in Angular. We're going to create a simple form in Angular. We're going to use the ng model that we learned in the last video to correlate that data back to the TypeScript component class. And yeah, and then we'll just log it to the console log just to show um, that everything was taken and acknowledged. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. You guys have been killing it. Um, really, it, it, I mean it when I say it. It means a lot. And let's uh, see what happened. I, I did something in between the last video and this video. I cleaned up the homepage a bit because we had all of those buttons and inputs and stuff that didn't really belong. And I added a new link to our nav bar called contact us. So if we click on this, we get to a new component, displays a new component the contact component. And this is where I'm gonna have a form. You might've seen this kind of thing on like a doctor's office or something, their website where they uh, want you to enter your information and they'll get back to you. Or maybe this is like, um, you know, for feedback on a website. For them to tell us my website sucks and then come on here and tell me it. So um, we're gonna use bootstrap forms. I'm actually, I just Googled bootstrap forms if you want to go check this out. I'm just going to copy this first form here and we can mess around with it as we need. But I think this is all we need. We need an email address. Um, maybe we need like a comment or something and a name and a submit button. I think that will be all I want for this particular form. So let's look at the component I just created called the contact component HTML. I'm just going to paste that form that we stole right here. And let's look at it real quick. So email address, that's fine. The input is type email. And they added a little text that says, we'll never share your email with anyone else. How about we change that to we'll share your email with everyone else. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Um, instead of password, Let's do, actually, let's take this whole thing and let's put name up above. Type is not gonna be password for the input. We're just going to make it text and don't need an ID. Who cares? Don't need an ID with this one either, I don't think. So let's see what this looks like. Let's go to the contact us. We have a name. Yeah, this is big. I could play around with it. I could put in some kind of container. Maybe we should do that. Put the form in a container. Um, so div and then bootstrap the class is container. I know this isn't a bootstrap video, but I feel like we got to do this to make it look some of these. Things. Yeah, it narrowed it some, but whatever. Uh, do we care about checkbox? Probably not. I'm going to take that out. We don't really need this piece here. And I'm going to do something fancy with the button here in a second. But right now, let's just do name and email. So we have that set up. We have the form set up. Um, something we didn't do is we didn't link it to the code behind with the ng model. So I'm going to close some of these. Let's close everything but this. Uh, close others. Let's look at the contact component TypeScript. I, uh, in the next video, I'm going to create something for us to store our data or use to store our data. But for now, I'm just going to put the um, two strings right here. So, so let's say the first property is name of type string. And right off the bat, it's just gonna be an empty string. And let's do the same with email. Email's a string and right off the bat, it's going to be empty. And now let's also make a method. So when the user clicks that submit button, we want a method that's going to do something. So we'll call this method submit and it's not gonna take anything and it's not going to return anything either. And really it's just going to console.log this.name and we can also console.log this.email. So there's something I'm gonna do with this button. Um, let's first give it a click event. So inside of parentheses, we'll say click and what's going to run the submit method. 
And here's the problem. Uh, I, I can enter nothing. And let's put our console into view here. I can enter nothing in both the name. Yeah, we need to change this. Where it says password. Let me do that real quick. This placeholder. Uh, what was this? Name. So let's just put name here. I can enter nothing. And it'll submit. It'll run. Look, it, it tried to display both of those, but those are empty strings. So it's just going to display nothing. And we can do that. But I don't want to show this button until both of these have been filled out meaning that email contains something other than an empty string and name contains something other than an empty string. And the way we can do that is with the ng if directive. So here we can put our statement. We can say if name is not equal to an empty string, oops, just two single ones there, and email is not equal to an empty string. So this will only display if both of those conditions are met. And now you can see that the button's disappeared because there's nothing um, in that name property. And there's nothing in that email property. Now we also have to use the ng model to do two-way data binding. So open and close square braces, open and close parentheses, ng model. And what are we linking this particular one to? Email email property. And let's just copy this and put it right here as well. Instead of email, it's going to be the name property. So now everything should be linked up. And if we go back, I don't know why I went and refreshed everything. Let's go to name. Something's happening here. And this is giving us an error because we have to set a name attribute when we're using ng model inside of a form tag, which we are. This is inside of a form tag. So let's give each one a name. And here, I'm just going to name it name. <laughs> Pretty simple. This one is just going to be email. It's just going to be the same as what we're linking it to. That's fine. So now notice when I enter test for the name and test at gmail.com, the submit button appears. And if I remove this, it disappears. So let's go back, put that in, and we'll hit submit. And now we have test and then test at gmail.com to show that that is being bound to both the name and the email properties. So at this point, you might want to do a little more validation, make sure the email is legit. I don't know. And then send it off via a rest call to your backend to save it to a database or something. But right now we're just going to write it to the console just to show that it works. So in the next video, I'm going to create an interface, I think to be able to store this contact info. So stay tuned for that. This was just a basic form in Angular. Hopefully it helps. And I hope to see you in the next video.